Yo, yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome to the video, Genshin Impact. My name is Vinicius S.G. All right, so you got Lisa, and you want to make her hit hard, all right? I got you covered. Now, I've been playing with Lisa for the last few days, trying to max out her stats like crazy, get her talents up and whatnot, but I could have just saved myself some time by using the right weapon and artifacts, at least the right artifacts. Weapons do and don't matter. I mean, obviously, if you're using, like, the magic guide, you're going to see drastically different results if you were using something like the Scoured Atlas. But just using the Scoured Atlas, at least with whatever artifacts is pointless now if you use the right artifacts with the magic guide you will probably see better results not the best results but better you get what i'm saying all right so i did a lot of testing on lisa like two hours worth of trading out every single piece of gear that i have to see what combination works the best now instead of just showing you what i used and what hits the hardest for me right away i'm gonna show you some of the testing that i did because i know that some of you playing might not have access to like a plus 16 five star thundering fury goblet or whatever but if you do you know go ahead and skip ahead to the last bit of the guide but uh as of the making of this video my lisa is level 70 and my adventure rank is 42 with a world level of five her talents are not as high as they can go and that's on purpose so i can see what really hits harder the talents that matter for lisa in order of relevance to me uh, for her damage are the violet arc lightning rose in her normal attack so if you're upgrading talents and you have to make a choice all of her talents are important to her dealing damage but violet arc to me is the most important with her elemental burst coming in a close second now i've made her normal attacks charge hit slap for like one to two k sometimes three k per attack and it's good to use on groups of enemies that are together all right, so when it comes to gear, I have some great news for beginner players who have Lisa on their team and can't replace her with a wish, you know, pulled character. And honestly, once I show you what she can do, you might just want to keep her on your team permanently. Okay, so the good news is this. You do not need high-end gear to make Lisa hit. I'll say it again. You don't need high-end gear to make Lisa hit hard. I'm going to show you the next trials I went through just in case some of you have these same artifacts and weapons so you can see what you can do for your Lisa to deal good damage aside from your elemental burst. Oh, and before I forget this, Lisa's elemental burst is like quite literally, I think, the reason why the character exists. So if all else fails, put a bunch of energy recharge artifacts on her and only use her for her elemental burst, the lightning rose. It does continuous electro damage in an AoE, which allows for amazing elemental reaction damage. Lightning, rolls, uh, lightning Rose deals a lot of damage um, at once, and even without great gear or seeing huge numbers on a lot of those like damage numbers, they all add up to big damage, like no matter what. All right, so if all this fails, just energy recharge on her and then get her all and switch her out, use her all, and switch out to the other characters and then do elemental reactions that way. Okay, so firstly, I decided to put the four-piece Thundering Fury set on Lisa with the Skyward Atlas as her weapon, and I used that as a starting off point for a frame of reference. Now, I had an idea before this test that this set would be hot garbage on her because of some of the stuff that I'd seen in the past, but I assumed that once I had the four-piece set, it would somehow magically just make her hit harder because this set seems to literally be made for Lisa, but it did not get the best results. Now, that's not to say that if you have the set and all all the pieces had the right stats and substats that this set wouldn't hit but just having the set for its bonuses is what i mean the set bonus makes it seem like it would just make her start hitting drastically different the set says that you get a 15 a plus 15 percent electro damage boost for a two-piece set and that all electro involved elemental reactions give a 40 percent increased damage boost and decreases elemental school down by one second this sounds really really good now what you're seeing here on screen is the four piece set with a maiden feather that's perfect for literally everything with its stats and i'm going to use chong young for his superconduct elemental reaction which lowers an enemy's defense now take note of the damage numbers this is with the skyward atlas a five star weapon 8k on her violet arc charged attack was good but not great i wasn't satisfied especially not if this set was made for her so i decided to switch out pieces left and right to see what finally hit the best now as you are watching these trials i'll explain lisa's attack if you have no idea what i'm doing or why now lisa is 
in my opinion, this might be wrong, but this is just my opinion. Lisa is kind of a selfish character, one that you don't really need elemental reaction for to make her hit harder because she comes with a mechanic that allows her to really damage her opponents without any help. Using her violet arc, the oppress button, she shoots out a ball of lightning. When a target is hit with this ball of lightning, they get a number on them, which is a sort of a, a debuff, kind of, that makes them weaker to her charged violet arc attack, all right? Now, if you hit a target with one of these orbs and a number one appears on them and you charge her violet arc, it will do increased damage. You can send out these orbs a total of three times on one target until they get a number three on them. If you want to affect a group of enemies, use her charged attack. This applies the stack as well so if there's like a bunch of targets in one rent like one group that are coming towards you or whatever like that and you use her charged attack and you hit them all with it this will put a stack on all of them so all of them will have a number one on them or a two or you know whatever the case may be now when a target has that number three on them and you use her charge to violet arc they're gonna take a crap ton of damage and not just one target either. You can get multiple targets that are within her influence area of her charged violet arc attack. All right, so when it all came down to it, I realized that electro damage on Lisa is all well and good. But if you really want her to hit, it's gotta be the Berserker set for crit rate, crit damage, and attack. I I know, right? It sounds crazy. It sounds dumb. It doesn't sound like it works, but this is just what I found, you know? Um, and this might change later, or you might have different results, but this has just worked for me, all right? And I'm showing you it on screen how it worked for me. Now, these are the most, in stat, uh, most important stats to use her. Well, when I used the full Berserker set, I finally saw my first 9k damage value, and then right after that, a 10k that was very nearly an 11k, and that's the full berserker set something that i'm sure that all of you have now i can't stress this enough stats and substats matter when gearing lisa up look for artifacts that specifically say crit and attack now i did try and put the full brave set on her just to see if attack was what she needed because if you don't know it the brave set focuses on attack now as a matter of fact i put on every high attack gear that i had on her at one point and that boosted her attack score to like 1600 or something along with the scoured atlas but just a high attack score alone it didn't give her better numbers and this kind of confused me because i thought the higher her attack would go the stronger her attacks would be like the damage wise but that just it was that wasn't the case it was the crit damage and crit rate along with the attack and i know that kind of seems like common sense but when you when you play with a character like lisa and you see that she does lightning and they have a set that does lightning you think that the lightning set's gonna do good but it, it i don't know this is just what it is the berserker set was not the best results that i found however but before I show you the best, I'll show you some of the tests with the other books that I've got because I know some of you just don't have a Skyward Atlas or better, you have other things and you kind of want to see what works. Now, first, I'm going to use the Map of Mare, which is the book you can get from the Blacksmith. This is a free-to-play catalyst that all players have the opportunity to get. It has Infusion Scroll as its ability, which grants a 10% elemental damage boost for 10 seconds when triggering an elemental reaction, which is perfect for this Chong Young example. My Map of Mare is a Refinement Rank 2, which means I've made two of them and put them together and I have it upgraded to level 60. Not the highest level for my world level, but it's still adequate. Now the Map of Mare hits good with the Berserker set. Not great, but good if it's all that you have. Next, I will try the Sacrificial Fragments. Sacrificial Fragments has skill cooldown and I have it refined to max. It boosts the base attack by 238. Now, clearly this isn't the weapon for Lisa. Next, I'll try the Fable Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer. I have people in my comments telling me about this book all the time, and I finally got it, and I finally refined it, but I don't have it maxed out. It's a three-star wish book, and it adds 48% increased attack for 10 seconds at max refinement. 
This is a weaker book, like I said, it's only level 40, but the attack increase should more than make up for it. Like, you almost like raise your attack by 50% just by switching characters or whatever. Okay, so we see some good damage there, but not the best. I can only assume that a level 60 or 70 version of the Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer has better results. Next, the Wid Sith. This is a book that adds random bonuses for switching characters out. It's a crit damage book, so this should actually help Lisa out with the Berserker set. I have it at level 50 refinement rate 1, so that means it's not the best book in the bunch, but it's still built up enough and we still should see like if it sucks or it's trash. And clearly, you see a bigger number with her higher crit damage provided from a level 50 non-refined with Sith. Imagine this book refined and at level 60 or 70. Next, the Skyward Atlas. It adds a very high base attack bonus and gives extra damage from the ability attached to the weapon, but it doesn't enhance Lisa's big damage. I mean, it does and it doesn't. Having a very high base attack adds to your overall damage, but it doesn't really help her crit score number is what I mean to say. So having a high attack score is definitely going to help your damage, but as far as crit damage, it's going to help that too, but it's not going to be like OD as if it were helping like crit damage like we saw with the previous weapon. Now, let's switch it up to the set that works the absolute best for me, and that's going to be a mix of different set bonuses. Now, before I show you this, I'm going to say I tried the Wandering Troops set, full set and two-piece bonus with Berserker. I've tried the Instructor full set and two-piece set bonus with Berserker and the Lightning. I've put the Instructor on Bennett and triggered his boost. I've Listen, I pretty much did everything that you can think of to try to get her to hit harder before I use this set that I'm going to use right now, and nothing like actually seemed to work. I didn't see anything that hit as hard as, a, uh, as hard as what I'm about to show you, except one other thing, which I will show you towards the end of the video. But the final set that I run on Lisa right now is a combination of Berserker and Thundering Fury. I know, right? It's crazy. Now, and I have like the Maiden Flower. Now, this Maiden Flower is just an exceptionally well-statted artifact. Um, here are the pieces that I use. The Berserker Rose with attack, crit rate, and crit damage with a little bit of Elemental Mastery. Next, this is the Maiden Feather that I was telling you about. It's got Elemental Mastery, attack, HP, and crit damage. The uh, Thundering Set Hourglass with attack, defense, crit damage, and crit rate. Then we have the Thunderous, Thunder Set Goblet with double attack stats. And then finally, the Berserker Crown with crit damage as the main stat and crit rate as a substat with another attack bonus. Now, let's see the difference it makes on the books. First, the Widsith, because before it hit the hardest. And here we see a decent 9k crit. Next weapon, the Map of Mare, because it's a free to play weapon that everybody can use. Not the best damage in the world with this map of mare, but keep in mind it's only refined twice and it's level 60 with a stat of elemental mastery. Not the best for Lisa, but it's okay. Um, the 105 damage bonus helped, but not a lot. Still, it was decent though. Next, the Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. And again, the Thrilling Tales puts up decent numbers, but because of its lower level, it's not overwhelming. But keep in mind, my Lisa is slightly under level for this world level as well. So I guess in my opinion, yeah, the Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer is an excellent catalyst for Lisa. Next, let's try the Skyward Atlas. And here we see the biggest damage yet with the Skyward Atlas. Using this book was the first time that I saw really big numbers with Lisa and I was satisfied with the character and added her to my main team over Razor as my lightning or electro character. And then something crazy happened. The new banner drop with the weapon banner uh, came out along with the banner that added cleats to the game. So I streamed blowing over $300 trying to pull the wolf's gravestone. And in $300, all I did 
was pull the best five star book in the game over and over and over and over if you haven't seen it yet the stream is still up just go check it out it's like titled spending over 300 dollars on uh, genshin impact or something like that um this book though that i got the five star that i kept getting over and over and over again was is actually godly now this is the weapon that i use on we on lisa it's called the lost prayer to the sacred winds this catalyst seems made for lisa because get this the longer you are on the field with a character equipped with this book the more damage they do. So this book actually encourages, encourages you not to switch characters, not to get elemental reactions. Use one character and use that character to deal a ton of damage. And as you can see, this book is ridiculously good on Lisa. It's the Lost Prayer to the Sacred Winds. It's a five-star book that was released in a weapon banner alongside the Wolf's Gravestone when Klee was released into the game. At the making of this video, this book is probably the most powerful catalyst weapon in the game. It's certainly the strongest weapon that I own at the moment. Now guys, if this video was helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, and let's try to hit a like goal of 100 likes. And if you do like Genshin Impact, why don't you subscribe to this channel and turn all notifications on for more videos. And since you're already here already, why not check out one of these other videos because I am 100% certain that they can help you in some kind of way. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll check you later. See ya.